Hi, if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support. My name is Steph and I scry ink blots. Today we're utilizing scrolls for a little divination dose for any day that you decide to be here in the aura of all. We'll also utilize tarot and oracle cards and as well the spirit box that is here as like a verbal, verbal offering. EVP style. So if that interests you, feel free to take a seat, release the race and the rush, and together we'll activate the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. All right, I'm going to gather my scrolls here and we'll see what's going on Ooh, today. All right, let's go. Hmm. There's a deepening of, like, a, I'm seeing a drywall, it's not a stud, I think it's a plug, a drywall plug, and I'm going deeper, Where are you? deeper in, um, they're both going deeper. My perspective, if this makes any sort of sense, and I assume if you're here in some way, shape, or form, you are sensitive in any of the clear sense, senses, along with empathy, etc., and there's definitely a heightening. Interesting. The way I'm seeing it is like a heightening, but by doing so, I'm like that drywall plug. I'm strengthening uh, a grounding point, a grounding point. There's something about the heart space that's coming through with an element of passion. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going down a different rabbit hole here all of a sudden, and, I, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. You might be experiencing like visitors from other planets, other energy realms, placements, this, that, or the other. This is okay. And it's almost like whatever you may be deepening your connection to while earthly and interesting, just like that uh, heightening Where are you? through deepening. It's like I can see see someone in whatever sort of sort of state that you use, I may use. Whether it's mantras, audio, sound, sensations, tangible touch, etc. Right? Okay. So by deepening the space in which that moment exists, like a drywall plug, and maybe that visualization can help you when you are committing to that. It heightens, that's earthly, it heightens in the energy and these visitors are coming in. Yep, the visitors are coming in, but they're following some sort of passion call. Like your essence or your energy might be uh, sending out a message. From the heart space. Because this is where it all kind of comes together. This fire and water, if I may. The, these elements kind of come together. Fire. And these beings come in. I do feel like they're visitors. They visit you. They already visit you. Maybe you're becoming more aware of them. Or your interest to interact. Interest to interact is gaining strength. Because some of them are family. From different planets or galaxies something along that lines and then others are earthly elements or the expression the earthly expression of an element oh my goodness okay so maybe it's like elementals uh energies from the plant realms trees rocks minerals this that or the other You know what I'm seeing is a bunch of ants being, you know how ants can carry, was it like 50 times their weight or something like that? And they are carrying you. 
It's like they are a bunch of these stabilizing uh, meridians, meridians, meridians. Okay. Sorry. See, my nose is getting all, it's always, uh, for me, it kind of comes in like, I feel like I'm walking through spider webs. That's why I tend to touch my face a lot. If this resonates with you, you might know exactly. I, I'm not necessarily talking about abduction stuff. That's not what it feels like. It just feels like visitors. And they're at the end of my bed or they're am, amidst my my atmosphere of environment. Fire. But it's something about pursuing a passion that is placed somewhere in the subcon or in the psychology and it's like the the psychology and the psychic psychology are grounding like that like hanging something on the wall like a picture of what it is i want or desire and instead of just like hanging a tack or you know i've done some very creative ways of hanging things up it drives my husband crazy <laughs> where you know he'll like do it properly and that's where I'm seeing it's like now it's like, oh, I know how to, you know, find the stud, put the drywall plug in and then put in the screw that's going to hang this picture. And now this vision is much stronger, this vision and visitors. And it's because of this vision that the visitors are there. Hmm. Does this make sense? I feel like it does make sense. I'm going to keep going with it. All right, what came through here? Uh, desire, snake, freedom, and action. It, it, yeah, it's like a curly cue of what you're, that vision. I, I feel like this has something to do with manifesting or I have a vision of interacting with my interdimensional self, interdimensional beings. And inter not being only far away, like in a quick concept of it, like, oh, the whole galaxy. It also includes the grounding sensation of elements from here. They're friends. But this freedom in action, it's like, it's asking me to, to take actions to strengthen. To strengthen the vision that I'm seeing. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. Axe. Axe. Loyalty and determination. I feel like this might be a calling somebody has that is very persistent. It's it's loyal and persistent, but it does obey. It obeys your your fears and your excitement simultaneously. So I can see these beings about easily six to nine feet away. For some, it might be a little farther. And for others, they're like really, really close. There's still something I'm bound in, in my desire. It's like I'm seeing a, a curly cue some sort of curly cue, and then I'm going to straighten it out. And But then when it goes back, I'm going to straighten it out, and it's going to go whoop, back to curly cue, and that creates a deeper drilling. But it's like, first I want to see, like, how, how long is this? And I want to take these measurements. Does that make sense? And I, I'm, I want to feel safe. Is that what it's for? for safe it's like i have this passion this reason this calling to interact with these visitors and then at the same time i pause and i'm like oh am i afraid hesitant hesitant i mean when it said axe i heard ask 
perhaps in that moment when they're farther away, just simply ask, are you here of my highest good? Are you here, luck, money? Are you here to add to like the pot of gold of, of all that is, of our interactions? This feels very... Okay, fish, abundance, luck. I feel like once the discernment, what feels like a hindering right now, it's actually being applauded for because you're discerning and then not to shift discernment into doubt. Discern is to be rewarded, but Man. don't, but don't doubt that you are, the work is worth it. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Somewhere it makes sense. Okay. Are we done here? Yep, we're done here. Okay, on the bottom is peacock, pregnancy, and wealth. There's a lot of wealth, coins, luck, money, freedom. Oh, I just heard that saying from that movie, if you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. And then I'm being brought back into the measuring, the vision, the the dry, for whatever reason, it's coming through like drywall things. And that's fine because I understand the symbology of it. And I'm grateful for that. If you build it, your, your way, find it, like you, you're going to tweak and learn things along the way, little tricks of the trade. I heard tricks of the trade that work for you to feel confident in interacting with these visitors. I feel like this is their message. Like they're observing you doing it because they're also learning from you because they are family and friends for the most part. Of course, there's, I shouldn't say of Please course, come back. but there's some that are like, you're like, no, I, I'm no, right. You just, you have that freedom, that sovereignty. Okay. They are watching you embody the same spirit because you're a Where familiar, you? you're a family member to them. And they are watching you embody this human nature. So they are looking if the, this is what they're going through. And they're learning too. So they understand. Everyone wants it to be quicker. Uh, but speed like time is not measured in the same way. Uh, coming together and ride the wave. I feel like these are really nice messages symbolizing whether they are spirits of souls that have passed on and have ascended or <clears throat> returned to a natural state that is of a higher frequency. Yeah, with the dolphin's higher frequency. I'm seeing a crown. This has, it has to do with the crown chakra and the root chakra. Something, a whole lot about emotions or the energy, the energy of emotions that can help you help us all ride the wave into the world. You know what I'm seeing? It's like one of those things that where the water goes back and forth. That's what the conversation feels like. And it's this very soothing, meditative flow. Oh my goodness. Do these visitors have a message in, in general? We'll, we'll receive an in general message for those that are here with me, thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, thank you to all those who donate and support the channel. Like, you warm my heart. You warm my heart. So we sit here in the dark together. And that's, it's, you know, comfy, cozy. It's like a womb. <laughs> mm. There's that water. Okay. On the bottom, we have magic stream. Will this come through in the lighting? Maybe not. Okay, well, it says magic stream. Uh, dry desert and spark. 
Okay, I'm going to take all three of these. Please come back. There we go. When I was talking about that water and fire, I feel as though some might be in a state of like a dry desert and that feels like the the fire the sand is hot but it's gold it's gold maybe uh envisioning and i'm coming into this snake but i'm seeing it and not the snake eating itself remember i was talking about like that coil that was straight did you ever have like one of those snap wristbands when you were a kid you know like uh, Anyway, it's almost like imagining a belt or something that can curl up and snap straight. Uh, that's gold. And maybe this gold symbolic thing can help step forward to feel safe and secure of the highest degree possible. And as you're walking through this desert, it's almost like that's how I'm feeling like when you're stepping forward to to some of these beings because that may be indicative to the landscape that is most familiar. There's wind. And this walk brings me towards a stream that I think is a mirage. Maybe this is like a meditation or like a visual meditation one can use. Walking in a desert, the gold particles are are heated with passion. Particles is important. And I walk with this dry wind and it's almost like I'm, you know, sandblasting debris around me in my energy and in my aura and then I come towards this magical stream that I think is a mirage but it's not and there's these different kind of birds there pelicans cranes this that or the other and I decide to to step into this water to this magical stream fire and water and ease the heat on the bottom of my feet and on my skin and on my heart this passion that's Ornament. building and building and I step into this magical stream and lo and behold, as I walk and it gets deeper and then I start floating, knowing I have this gold thing with me and I inevitably ride this very soothing wave. You shouldn't be here. The, and then that's when the self-doubt comes in. It's like, ooh, am I supposed to be here? Yes, yes. Self-doubt comes in for one reason or another. The disowned self, root girl, because you're beyond the resources of what you what you maybe assume is like uh, contractual to the current existence. Like it's like the physics don't make sense. Even if you don't know anything about physics, it, you might have a, a, you know, a simple yet profound awareness. The physics don't make sense here. And then I have this moment of, oh, maybe I don't belong here. But there's beings watching you because you're like traveling towards, towards them and they're traveling towards you. Because there's work for them to do as well. There's effort for them to do as well. It's just different. And again, time and speed work differently. So what could seem instantaneous, like they just appear. But our awareness can't necessarily appreciate or understand the work that they've done to visit you. Does that make sense? Okay. So that was that fire the disowned self is it's almost like in that walking through the desert to the stream to you this to here. this wave again right in that time frame like self-doubt it's like boom and you're like you know what disown the self-doubt take a moment to discern and decide absolutely stay in sovereignty of self and so and choice just simple choice the right use of power, sacred contract, 
I don't know if I said it out loud or not, but there was a crown that stood out somewhere in one of the cards, but I'm not really sure if I said it out loud. There it is right there. There's a crown in that heart and it's like bringing your crown chakra into your heart space and your passions into your crown where the, it's like the meditation, if I may, the, the essence of the meditation is to, to be a mediator, the magic stream between the mind and the heart. Yes, 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 yes. And it's almost like in this a uh, state of wandering through the desert to the stream to the be careful it's yeah there's a mindfulness of the sovereign soul that i can discern and decide if i am using the right use of my power and as being step forward and i choose to communicate whether more telepathically if it's tangible, this, that, or the other, there are contracts in place. Like you may have pre-earthly or higher self style have said, yes, this is, we will meet, we will revisit this. I'm going to go down to this mission. I'm going to have this experience, but I would like for you to, you know, lull me out of my sleep state or, you know what I'm saying? Like there's Things in place that you agreed to, to learn and do to provide to the bigger family of sorts. It can be changed along the way. And it's almost like that's one of the reasons when, especially if you're going to meet your guides or if you've had a near death experience, it's to look at that contract and say, okay, guys, like I've been down here for, you know, 44 years now. So we're going to have to look at this because it's it's not my preferred way or um i'm just finding this way more comfortable versus the other because you have a lot of resources around you but it's like i'm hearing use the resources to protect you i'm also seeing that you may have a guide or a guardian hmm Okay, a guide or a guardian, which could be in and of yourself for the heart space. Because I'm seeing like those people that, you know, in those uh, fun like YouTube or whatever videos they are, and they dress up as a bush or something and then they scare people. So you think they're this inanimate object, but they're not. So that's part of the discernment part and the careful, being careful and then being full of care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. You are going to remember a lot of things. If you don't already remember a lot of things going through this process, these visitors are like, they're all different creatures. The salamander might mean something to somebody as well. There's going to, it's like when these visitors are standing there. Some of them, are, those who are patient in working with you throughout this uh, contract of sorts, they are patient. Oh, it's right. almost as if they're not patient. That is a cue or a clue. You know what I mean? Nine of cups. Uh, okay. Okay. So I have here Knight of Swords, Queen of Spears. And Unseen is the Seven of Coins. Something's you're uh, through these visitors. They're also helping you grow. Uh, grow grow a garden of Eden. Sorry, give me one moment. Oh, 
okay. So there's something about not feeling bad when you make a claim no. I want to know in whatever regards, like if something you're like, no. And not to feel bad about that. Retain your sovereignty. The strength of that. And sometimes people are just testing it. And when I say people, it's of these planetary people all over the place. So the card right use of power is in the center. And then the two Game of Thrones cards there. And if you're familiar with the show, I feel like that says a whole lot. These two characters go, go about their power in very different ways. But throughout the whole story of at least what I can recall, and I'm not trying to, to butcher anything or spoil anything, they're both growing their version of Garden of Eden and though you could say that they're very different, one's light and one's dark, if I recall, like by the end of the show, like th the insanity of the light comes through. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? They're not all that different. Rich. It's how you go about it, the actions and the intentions. Okay. Closing out messages with you and your visitors. Uh, protect, protect, protect what? what means most to you and allow that to change as you evolve and grow the journeyer how beautiful and if you can see that card like the journeyer this is you journeying into the spirit realm ancestors of tribes shaman of stars It's like I'm seeing those worker ants again. Helping you stay grounded. While interacting with. Uh, sky riding the fates. Or these contracts. Because I think there might be something. Changing. Uh, spirit of destruction. Yeah, there's change afoot. Contracts, sky writing, and spirit of destruction. There are things changing, but they're growing. Seven of coins. They're growing. You're the you're the gardener, and I keep seeing like these visitors. I don't know if they're guides, aliens, angels, aspects. I don't know who they are. It's like there's a set few that are very close by. Maybe start with them. Meeting them. Meet your guides. If it, Or again, if you resonate with the, like, the alien or uh, angel family. S start with those that you can just sense a trust with. They might even share your con the contract that was in place, like the blueprint, if I may, uh, that was in place when you came down. There might be some clarity about that because I have a feeling there's a chance to make addendums to something. It's like having a near-death experience without having the near-death experience. And for one reason or another, if it's helpful, it's like yoga nidra might help. Uh, ancestor of guidance and dancer of inspiration is here as well. And it, when I see the inspiration, it's like 
I'm seeing one of those signs, like if you go to the beach, like go this way, go that way, you know, the beach is this way, you can go that way, you can go up or down. Those beings that I see like around you, including those elementals that work with you, they're, they're helping you guide through the fire and the water. Following your passions will will inevitably bring forward what it is you truly wish to pursue in the contract, make changes, this, that, or the other. Something about a window as well. There might be a window in someone's bedroom that is quite specific and you might place, whether it's talisman or an offering, something along that lines. Some And when I say earthly elementals as well, like maybe you place it doesn't have to be in a bed by all means maybe it's on on a mat or a carpet when you're setting up for meditation or Fire. whatever the case may be but earthly things of things that the earth elements have created through fire and time crystals herbs whatever the case may be maybe you draw things it it, it doesn't seem to be the point it's what's it's empowered with and your resonance with it those can also be physical representations of these earthly elements to help you feel more grounded and secure stepping forward. Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. Yeah. Ground to grow. And greet. Greet these visitors that you have. That It's like right now I can see you sensing them. And maybe have had interactions, good, bad, or ugly. And so like there's kind of like this curling up. Because I think someone's or some things that have maybe not had the right use of power that's in alignment with you. Right? Because I don't want to apply a judgment to some morals or ethics that each may hold. And so it became very protective which could have almost like closed something off. But now I see this crowns being put back on. Like I said, that, that meditation or mediator between the mind and the heart to say, yes, I, you hold the pen, you hold the pen, but there's other presences that are here to help you remember. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm seeing the show Lost. Like it's it's kind of like a funny analogy for like life. Like you were, you know, all of it. in one fun way we could say like coming down from spirit into the show Lost and you feel like you're on this island and there's just, there's all these where resources. But yeah, you're like, where are we? What do you got to do? And you got to find a new way to live and interact and do things. And it's all very interesting. And then if I recall the ending of Lost, I feel like between Game of Thrones and Lost, but nonetheless, like by the end of it, you realize, you realize that's what this feels like. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go because I have rambled on a whole lot today and I apologize if uh, it's long-winded, but you know, you always have the freedom to pause, restart, come back, like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. Fast forward, rewind. Uh, this has been a very enlightening reading for me to, to know that everyone's going through their, their journey. What is that card come through? Is going through their journey. Is going through their journey. And it's personalized and it's like, it's coming back to the show loss. Like I can see, like you see all these characters and sometimes this episode focuses more on these guys and these guys and these guys. And then sometimes there's these, you know, other people that are like, where do they come from? And, but everyone has their time to make the whole show, but everyone has these individual experiences, journeys, but they are interconnected. There are forces seen and unseen. Okay. All right. If you get it, you get it. And if not, I, I thank you so much for, for holding out until the end of this. Uh, until next time.